introduce our work about accurate and explain our recommendation via review rationalization. In recent years, researchers have been applying deep learning techniques to improve performance and explainability in recommender systems, such as using deep neural networks to learn both low and high order feature interactions, generating sentence explanations based on natural language generation models, adopting neural attention mechanism to learn the importance of each region of an image or using reinforcement learning framework for explainable recommendation. However, neural models may cheat by exploiting spurious correlations in the training data, which results in high reported accuracy or good explanation during training, but can lead to low generalization performance when data distributions changed during test time. Here is an example. Suppose the task is to predict the shape of the object based on its outline. However, models can also predict the object based on the color. Models exploit such spurious correlations may fail when data distributions changed. In this work, we aim to guide our model to extract the most informative features for prediction, such as the outline in this example. Now, given the outlines of these objects, colors cannot provide more information for prediction. We refer such features as rationales, who can make all the other features be independent of the predicting results. Here we draw an abstracted causal graph for rating prediction task, where Y represents the ratings, R represents the rationales, and C substar represents all the features correlated to Y but not rationales. Since the directive edge from R to Y denotes that R is the direct cause of Y. Rational features should be more robust for prediction among different scenarios. Considering our goal, we expect to extract the most informative features for prediction, which means that all other variables are independent of the target variable when conditioned on this feature set. Generally, under certain assumptions, such minimal feature set is the Markov boundary of the target variable Y, including Y's parents R, Y's children CC, and Y's spouses CD. Since the direct effect CC are not helpful in the recommendation tasks, we can simply add a restriction on our model that we only use reviews generated before to predict the current rating. Since an effect cannot occur before its cause, effects related features cannot be extracted from the previous reviews as rationales, and thus we cannot observe and condition on CC by following this restriction. Then CD needs not to be conditioned on because of the immorality structure. Now we have CA, CB, and CD being independent of Y given R. Here is the architecture of our proposed model recommendation via review rationalization R3. It consists of three key components, rational generator, rational predictor, and correlation predictor. The rational generator consists of a world-level rational generator and a review-level rational generator. The world-level rational generator predicts the probability of each word being rational and binarizes the probabilities to select the top words from each review. After that, the review-level rational generator selects rational reviews based on the world-level rationales. In the shape prediction example, the rational generator is expected to extract the outline of an object. The rational predictor takes rationales as input to predict user ratings on items. The rationale in our definition corresponds to the selected words in each review. The rational predictor first embeds input rationales into vectors and then uses a neural form of the 10-factor model to predict the ratings. In the shape prediction sample, the rational predictor should only take the outline of an object extracted by the rational generator to predict the shape. The correlation predictor instead takes all features as input, including both rationales and correlated features. It takes both the outline and the color of prediction and the prediction process is similar to the rational predictor. In the shape prediction example, 
The correlation predictor should predict the shape based on both online of the object and its color. We can minimize the gap between the above two predictors' losses so that we, the predictors based on rationales are forced to be as powerful as the predictions based on the all correlations. In this way, we can ensure that the extracted rationales are indeed the set of features with maximum predictability. Specifically, in the world-level rationale generator, we pass the historical views of user U and item V into the test processor and use the features obtained by the test processor to calculate the probability row of each word being rational. And Z is the binary mask to select rational words from each review based on the probabilities row. It is calculated as follows where fd is a detached function indicating that no gradients are needed. In the review level rationale generator, we identify rationales that fully reflect user preferences and item properties for each targeted user item pair. User preferences pu and item properties pv are modeled by word level rationales extracted from their historical reviews denoted as R sub U V upper W. Then we calculated an affinity matrix between these user preferences and item properties to select rationales that match both user interest and item properties. By taking the row and column wise sum of the affinity matrix, we are able to obtain the probabilities of potential rationales to become true rationales. The binary mask Z for review level rationales generator can be calculated same as the world level rationale generator. Rational predictor predict user ratings on items only by rational features. Here, gamma u upper r and gamma v upper r are the final user and item rational features calculated by review rationales selected by rationales masks. And we use the neural form of the 10 factor model to predict the user ratings on items. Correlation predictor instead predict user ratings on items by utilizing both rational features and non-rational features. We also add the user item interaction features modeled via matrix factorization as a supplement to correlated features. Similarly, the neural form of the 10 factor model is used to predict the user ratings. We apply mean square laws for both rational predictor and correlation predictor. Since the rational generator needs to construct a minimal feature set with maximum predictive ability, to satisfy these constraints introduced by this iteration, we add two terms to the optimization objective. The first term is to minimize the gap between LR and LC. The second term ensures that the size of the selected rationales is small by a sparsity constraint. Finally, we design the optimization objective of the rational generator as LG. We apply a loop chaining strategy for this adversarial learning to optimize LR, LC, and LG. Our experiments are conducted to answer the following research questions. Does R3 outperform state-of-the-art methods? Does R3 get rationales instead of correlations? What are the impacts of the design choices of R3 and does the rationales help improve explainability. We use five publicly available datasets from different domains to evaluate the proposed method. The first four datasets are from Amazon. Note that Beauty is only used to evaluate the performance of knowledge transfer across datasets. Because Beauty contains items, for example facial cream, that are similar to those in health and personal care. We train R3 on the health and personal care datasets and evaluate its performance on the beauty dataset to evaluate the transferability of R3. The Yelp dataset is provided by Opinion Digest, in which aspects and opinions from reviews are extracted by snippets since the raw data is very large and sparse. We only kept the users and items with at least 5 ratings. We use 80% of data 
for training, 10% for validation, and 10% for testing for each sample. Make sure that user item historical reviews are posted before the targeted timestamp to evaluate the performance of R3 with data distribution shifts. We sample 2% of users whose average rating are around 3, which are much less biased than the original datasets, and we call them debiased datasets. These debiased datasets are referred to as test U in the experiment, since rationales should make all the features being independent of the predicted ratings. Our model should be more robust when data distribution shifts. We evaluate the overall performance on the raw dataset, which uses the normal testset. Moreover, we evaluate the robustness on the debiased dataset to check if R3 gets rationales instead of correlations. Results show that our model outperforms existing methods and achieves more robust results on datasets with new rating distributions. And the transfer learning experiment also indicates that our methods can better capture the invariant features across datasets. Since our model follows the classic interest, user bias, item bias, and global bias prediction paradigm, we can easily analyze the effectiveness of each component, pi, pi u, and pi v. As shown in both tables, the Pearson Correlation coefficient results indicates that our model relies more on rationales than can achieve decent performance even without fully relying on rating distribution biases. We use explainability record to measure explainability. Here we calculate the proportion of rationales extracted by our models relative to the rationales provided by the user in its ground truth review which is unseen to our model. Intuitively, aspects and opinions in each view are causal features for predicting the rating since they are the most descriptive features in reviews. We use the state-of-the-art aspect and opinions extractor snippets to extract the aspect and opinions. A high explainability recall between the rationales and the aspect and opinions indicates that the proposed rational generator can extract more of the true rationales. Since it is common that the extracted rationales and aspects and opinion tokens are with the same semantic meaning but represented by different words, we compute the cosine similarity between their word vectors and treat cosine similarities above a certain threshold as true positives. For example, if we select a cosine similarity threshold as 0.7, it will infer that words like aged and older share the same semantics. The model can achieve a pretty high explainability recall of 0.9, that is around 90% of the aspects and opinions are successfully discovered by the proposed rationale generator. We also present some rational examples extracted by the proposed method. Consider the context of recommending a restaurant to a user. R3 can find that the user was more concerned with food quality and service quality. Meanwhile, R3 also finds the restaurant reviews that contain aspects and opinions about food and service. The targeted review verifies that the extracted rationales from historical reviews are indeed highly consistent with the targeted review. In this paper, we propose a review rationalization based algorithm for accurate and explainable recommendation named Recommendation by Review Rationalization R3. It first extracts rationales from user and item reviews by a rationale generators to alleviate the effects of spurious correlations in recommendation. Then R3 can achieve accurate recommendation and provide causal aware explanation based on the rationales. Extensive experiments on public datasets demonstrate the superiority of the proposed method in terms of accuracy and explainability. That's the end of my presentation. Thanks for listening.